it's a continual process, you know. I'm still working on it. Uh, not only, well, not only to pay, play steady time, but thinking about how it feels also. Yeah, I do, I do work on playing, for instance, in time, in tempos. Uh, and certain tempos I noticed I had more trouble with than others. Uh, like there might be a tempo where I noticed that the time would creep up a little bit or something yeah. like that. And so, so then I have to work on that tempo. You know, I, I started, I've, I've continued to do that through my career, actually, uh, to, to work on, you know, if, 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 if I heard some recording of myself and didn't think I was quite nailing the tempo, there's, there's a tempo to practice. There's, there's something to practice that afternoon, you know, mm -hmm. uh, let's say 100, 160 beat, 160 beats a minute or whatever. Uh, um, what I started doing uh, sometimes is I would set a tempo like on a metronome, uh, listen to the tempo for a second, turn off the metronome. Would you put it on like, two and four or where do you, would you put it? I would, no, I put it on quarter notes usually. Mm -hmm. Unless it's a fast tempo, I might put it on half note. Yeah. Probably, probably on one and three actually. Mm -hmm. uh, but, um, uh, but I, I'd, I'd play the tempo and then I'd turn the metronome off. I just want to hear what the tempo is. And then I would play for 10 minutes, 15 minutes by myself and turn it back on. Yeah. You know, see if something happened to the tempo. Yeah. Um, because I think uh, when people only practice with a metronome, they're, they're kind of using it as a crutch. Like you know? being too reliant on it, dependent yeah. on it. Yeah. yeah. So... But there's something different you can learn from practicing with a metronome, like, you know, something like, well, I rush triplets or something like that. You know, you can maybe learn something from that, too. But uh, but one way I'd work on that is like, yeah, like I just said. So mm. that's one thing. Uh, and I practiced with a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of time by myself, uh, just play time or Uh, but also I played a lot with recordings and I still practice some with recordings because it gives me yeah. something to play off of, you know. Yeah, me too. And if I can't think of something to, to, to practice, then I can always play with a recording and it's fun, you know. And I don't have to take it too seriously. I can play, I can play a totally different tempo against the recording or something too. Mm -hmm. I, There's, you know, no real limitation, so. But I had to be careful about that because, you know, a lot of, like, records speed up, slow down. It's true, yeah. I don't want to, like, develop bad habits, so I actually, I sort of stopped playing with records, like, for a while. I, I stopped, well, I'm not going to play with four and more because the stuff speeds up, yeah, you know. Yeah. I don't want to get in the habit of doing that, you know, even though they're exactly together. Yeah, yeah. So, um, or... For a life at the Blackhawk, for instance, the tempos slow down. Mm. But actually, medium tempos, I think, especially early in my career, they might tend to creep up slightly. So I started practicing with Blackhawk because this stuff slows down. So it was actually <laughs> taking, me, taking me the other way. That's cool. Yeah. That's so, cool. Like, okay, let me see if I can play like this, you know. So, <laughs> so uh, uh, you know, stuff like that. Like if I'm just practicing, like say swing tempos, I probably played with milestones a million times, you know. Yeah. And not trying to play all of Billy Joe's stuff or anything like that. I would play, improvise, you know, play yeah. some other stuff, and also maybe play a little bit of the Billy Joe stuff if I feel like it or try to. I, I can't really make it sound like that, but um, yeah. So, but all, but the good thing about that record is that. Um, The tempos are pretty spot on, mm. and uh, also the drum solos and the fours and the trading. You can, I mean, it's the time is so steady through those. So I know that if you know, I can I can actually trade eights on those things and right. for, for the trading. And I I know if I play accurately, I'll come out on one because. Uh, Philly Joe is so steady in his, his solos at that time, you know, yeah. like the time is just like rock solid. So, yeah. 
So that's a good record to, to play with. And, and a bunch of different see, swing kind of tempos on there. Mm. Fast, slow, you know. Um, but I practiced with uh, all kinds of records in my collection. Yeah. And also other kinds of music, uh, you know, Aretha Franklin records, you know, uh, different things. Mm. 